Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence. Hello everybody, I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Both defenses will have to be on the watch for a pair of tight ends looking to find seams in the secondary. It's the Panthers going up against the Falcons. Now let's head down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 14 matchup. It's the NFL on EA Sports, a matchup in the NFC South as we join you from Bank of America Stadium. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims and a storybook matchup here today with an unbeaten time to take on a big challenger. Well, Jim Nance, when you get to the, this part of the season, you're undefeated. That's pretty special stuff. But you got to keep it in perspective. I think these coaches and players, they have, they know they got to keep working hard and improving to keep that zero in the loss column. I think they're ready to play. Browns, the deep back for the opening kick. The top team in the NFC will start today on defense. They'll be kicking it away here. We're underway here. And here's Todd Boone. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Newton's going to march onto the field. He's had a solid season to this point with a quarterback rating that's over 90 on the year. Cam Newton, here's a quarterback that's all in one. That's the only way to say it. He can run the football with speed. He can break tackles because of the power. And he can make all the throws because of that good throwing arm. The Panthers have it at the 24. Stewart's brought down after picking up just a yard. As we take a look at the offense for the first time today, they're coming off a big performance, putting up plenty of points last week, looking to replicate that performance today. Second and nine. And it's caught by Stewart. And this won't even get back to the line. They'll end up losing one. Well, we see it more and more. Football's thrown behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time. Nice catch, but a loss of yards on the play. The Panthers come to the line of scrimmage and empty out the backfield. Everyone split out wide. Greg Olson has the catch. Olson's tackled down at the 45. One of the better talented tight ends in the NFL. He makes that catch just right in stride and gets a nice catch. First down following the long play. Handoff to Jonathan Stewart. Stewart's marked down after a gain of four. And 
Here's the Falcons defense. They know they need to force turnovers today. Coming off a game in which they had no takeaways. Cam Newton takes a look now from under center. Second and six. Stewart's got it again. Durant's in on the tackle. Third down now. Three-step drop. And Boykin can't hold on that time. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. And it'll be Nortman back to punt. And he punts it, and it's going to sail out of bounds. Trying to play kick away from that dangerous returner. Trotting on to the field. He has thrown for over 4,000 yards three consecutive seasons. Quarterback Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan is noted to be more of a timing-throwing quarterback, but this guy, when you give him a chance, he knows how to air it out and hit receivers in stride. Falcons take it from the 33. It's wide open, and that's a gain of nine. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. Freeman's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Gets it again. Freeman's met after a gain of three. Here's our look at the Falcons' offensive lineup. They've done a great job of converting on third down this season. Second down and seven. Ryan's on the move. He's brought down at the 46. The Falcons on offense here to start the second quarter. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. That gains a few. Freeman's able to get it done that time. Why? Because he has the power and the will to make it happen. Third short, he just gets it done for sheer willpower. Lions running away from the pressure. Looking long. In his hands, complete touchdown. Early in the second quarter, and they've staked themselves to the lead with that touchdown. Yeah, listen, don't start looking at that scoreboard, though. It's too early in the game. You just got to keep playing. Don't worry about winning and losing, but it's nice to be on top. Makes the PAT. Jones probably ready to get right back on the field after that last drive. A drive in which he contributed over 40 yards receiving, helping the team score. Brown's going to drop to a knee here, so this will come out to the 20. The Panthers heading back out there on offense, hoping to improve on their last possession, which ended rather quickly with a punt. Yeah, I think what they got to do, they got to come out and be a little more creative, get the defense off guard, make them think over there. That was too generic what they did on the offensive side. If you want to score, show some ingenuity. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Second down and six. Jonathan Stewart with the football. The Panthers have not had a strong running game this half, at least in the sense of handing the football off. 
Stewart's been off the mark, and that's a big reason why they're trailing in this one. That's right. It hasn't worked. So what do you say? Don't be afraid to change. What you have to do, you call the plays. They give your team the best chance to win, and they better start changing those play calls. Third down and seven. Throws it toward the sideline. And what a catch. This team, one of the better tackling teams in the NFL, and they play the situation perfectly. They give up the short completion. They come up and make the tackle. Now we have a fourth down. The Panthers have to punt the football. Hester's going to look for space now. And that's Tillman in on the stop. And a run back of about eight. The Panthers' defense comes back onto the field. Did not look so good that last series, giving up the touchdown. Oh, you know the coaches are upset. My gosh, they ran some of the most elementary defenses that you can run, and they had mistakes by the defensive players. So they coached them up on the sidelines. We'll see if we see different results. First down at the 29. Freeman's got it on the handoff. The Falcons get a first down. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. Freeman's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. First down at the 42. Freeman's taken down at the 46. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. Ryan's on the move. Reaches out and grabs it. That's another reception, giving him two. Well, but there's under two minutes to go. Good job by the offensive uh, ball carry that time. He knows he can get no more yards. He steps out of bounds to stop the clock. Ryan's three for three with that completion. Will go Brown. Freeman's tackled down after a gain of five. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Falcons taken from the 33. And he's taken down. Ah, oh, not a good job by the quarterback that time. Inside of two minutes in the first half, you got to get rid of the football. If nobody's open, just throw it away. That time, he loses yards by taking the sack. Matt Ryan from the shotgun. Scrambling now. There's a flag out. Pass interference. Offense. Despite the protest, this is going to be offensive pass interference. Matt Bosher ready to punt. The fake is on, and they're looking to pick up the first. Takes the hit, throws. Well, anytime you run a fake punt and you let somebody throw the football besides the quarterback, even though the play is there and everybody's wide open, you still have a chance of not making it work. Why? Because the guy throwing it is not an NFL quarterback. The give. Stewart's met at the 44. The Panthers are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Second down and 11. And incomplete as Olsen can't hold on. Well, we still got a close game here, and you got to try to keep it that way. It's third long, and you're losing the football game. Don't take a chance on the offensive side. Wait for your next opportunity. The Panthers have it at the 44. The Panthers now move the chains. The Panthers will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. That's a timeout call. So 
going to need a lot of leg on this field goal try. An empty possession for the offense. That would have taken some of the pressure off them going into halftime. Instead, the lead is going to stay right where it is. I don't think the coach is going to be mad at the field goal kicker. I think he's going to be mad at his offense because they failed to convert on third down when the opportunity was there. First down at the 49. And now Ryan's going to take off. Has it. Touchdown. What a fine start to this game. Here we are late in the second quarter. They put up another touchdown, Phil. Well, they got a nice lead. They like to take this in at halftime. If you're the coach of the team that's leading at halftime, you know what you tell your players? Hey, guys, good job. Let's keep that going. You pat them on the rear and tell them how good they are because, hey, this has been a clinic so far in the first half. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. The Panthers are down right now. But they have to feel like they're still in it. The Falcons deserve to be ahead, but we'll need to put together another strong half. All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. First and 10, Ryan's on target here. And after the long pass, he'll score. Falcons strike first in this one. Falcons have it late in the second. Hero will get a pass into the end zone, and he's going to go 51 yards for the score. The lead now at 14. Welcome back, folks. Jim Nance and Bill Sims here at Bank of America Stadium for the call as the second half is about to get underway. And the tackle's made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. The Falcons come out to open up the second half, and they were hitting on all cylinders in the first half, Phil. Yeah, be smart here in the second half, Jim. When you start out, just find out what the defense is thinking, and once you get a, a feeling about what they're going to do, then you start taking some chances. Freeman's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Empty backfield look for Ryan here. Now on the move. The Falcons get a first down. That's what you want to do. Just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving. Keep the defense guessing. Make them react instead of attack. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. Ryan's going to take off with it. Jacob Tammy has the catch. That's his first reception today. The Falcons coaching staff has done a good job of mixing things up today on first down. The pass catches the defense off guard. They pick up solid yards. Now it's second and short. Second down, three to go. Coleman's there to make the stop. First down here after the run. And White can't hold on that time. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays, but a good play there and another incomplete pass. Second down and 10. Smith's going to take the handoff now. And Keekly in on the tackle. Smith's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, nowhere to go. That's a short game. The Falcons need to get to the 19 to pick up a first down. Ronnie White makes the reception. White still down, so we'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. 
Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Freeman's taking the handoff. You got to be fast to get to the quarterback, and you got to be strong to stop the run. How about that strength that time by the DN? Stands his ground and makes the tackle. Matt Ryan under center. Takes off with it. Atlanta in for the score. Finding the end zone for the first time this season. Those points may have made the lead insurmountable with just over a quarter to play. Yeah, it's tough. Sometimes you get in a situation like this, don't look at the scoreboard, just think about going out and executing one play at a time, and you hope if you do that somewhere in the fourth quarter, you could find a way to get back into this game. The point after try is in the books. The Panthers are getting ready for the return. And can they return to a competitive state in this one as the game is starting to get out of hand? The scores 21 to 0. And here's Todd Boone. Right there at the 20. Holding receiving team. The Panthers talked things over at the intermission, and I'm sure one of the first orders of business was to try to figure out a way to get this offense going, Phil. Absolutely. That's what you want to do, and I think you do that by play call. So the coach, they have many plays that we call drive starters. Catch the defense by surprise. They need to call one of those right here and right now to get this offense going. What's the old expression? Just move the chains. That's what they did with that throw and catch that time, Tim. It also gives them a chance for three more downs. Stewart lined up as the single back. First down at the 24. Handoff to Jonathan Stewart. Stewart's met after a gain of eight. He's averaged about two yards a carry on the day. Second down and two to go after the running play. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Falcons with a nickel look here on defense. He'll take the staff, the first here in the fourth quarter. The Falcons all season long have won the turnover battle, and today it's more of the same. When you look at turnovers, it really, to me, comes down to one thing. That means you have a lot of speed on the defensive side. You can hit them before they are ready, and that's what they're doing here today. Middle of the field and incomplete this time. The Panthers go with the pass that time on third and short. The defense was ready, and they stopped the pass. Now we have a fourth down situation. Turn here as they'll down it. The Panthers defense comes onto the field after surrendering a touchdown on the last drive. Well, they're hoping for better results. No question about that, Jim. They got to come out. They got to hustle. There was not enough hustle last time. And the number one key for all defensive teams is play hard. Way to call them out there, partner. Hey, that's what I do. I like to call them. When you run the football like this and you show toughness. There is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. He takes it on the counter. And Keekly in on the tackle. Freeman's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. And now we reach the two-minute warning. We return out of the two-minute warning. Fourth quarter action.
Third down on the way. Freeman's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Takes it again. This offense can't be stopped on third down no matter the distance. Good job by the offense here with a good lead in the second half, picking up that first down, and that's what you want to do. Take your time, look at the play clock, take it down as low as you can, and keep picking up those first downs. Ryan's now going to leave the pocket and tuck it under. And it falls incomplete. So many times when you drop a football in the NFL, a pass like that, it's because of lack of concentration. You're just not serious about what you're doing. Second and ten. Freeman's hand at the football. Gets about nine on the play. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. Well, we know you can win the game, but just running the football, then you just run the football. Take no chances. Keep two hands around it at all times, and don't worry about the extra yard. Right back to him once more. Freeman's able to get it done that time. Why? Because he has the power and the will to make it happen. Third short, he just gets it done for sheer willpower. Smith's going to secure the handoff. Smith's tackled, but earns a new set of downs. Well, this is not a surprise, Jim. This is what you do. You run the football. You play the clock. This is called managing the game, and it's all up to the head coach getting this done. Double tight end formation. Now first and ten. Lions going to scramble. Tony Moyaki has the catch. Gains 18. The Falcons are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. 20, 20. Freeman's in the backfield. Single back set. First and 10. For about four. He's now over 80 yards rushing on the day. Jim, that's just playing it by the book. You got the lead. And you want to keep the clock moving, so what do you do? You run the football. When you're in the huddle, as a quarterback in this type of situation, you just tell everybody two things. Stay in bounds and put two hands on the football. That's a gain of six. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. Falcons will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. He'll try this one from 39. The kick is good. This team off to a tremendous start and still without a loss. To be at this point of the season and still be undefeated, oh, man, you got to be doing a lot of things well. Not only that, it just, it almost guarantees the fact that you if you just play so-so, you're still going to qualify for the playoffs. So for Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now. Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence.